This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Samsung oven and stove where the touchpad isn't working and this is a real simple fast way to fix it. It doesn't always work but it's worth a try. It really requires no parts. All you really need is the eraser on a pencil and a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're going to unplug the stove and we're going to pull it away from the wall a little bit so we can get access to the back. You have to remove a couple of Phillips head screws to take off the back panel of the console. I've done this procedure before and it's returned full function to the touchpad. Other times it's had no change. So it's not a guarantee, but pretty easy to do and worth a try. It saves you on the cost of a new part. So we're zipping off those Phillips head screws on the back panel and this is similar to the LG oven too. Pretty easy to do. We'll pull the back panel off. We want to get to what's called the ribbon cable which brings the signals from the touchpad into the controller, basically into the computer. And sometimes there's a oxidative film that builds up on the ribbon cable. We're going to use the eraser to get rid of that film. At oxidation. I'm going to pull up on a plastic tab so I can pull the ribbon cable out. Now I'm just going to take my eraser on my pencil and I'm going to just go over this with just medium amount of force, not very much, to clean off any darkness. I want to get these uh, little terminals or wires nice and bright and shiny and the eraser does a good job at that. If you notice the eraser is getting a bit dirty you can rub it like on your pant leg and that will get rid of the dirt exposing new rubber then you can go back to uh, rubbing off the oxidation. You can also use electrical cleaner to do this will work. You can get that at, like at Home Depot in a spray can but the eraser should should do the trick. If you put it back together and you still have the same problem, it's pretty easy to replace the touchpad. They cost about $50 to $60. But again, this is so fast and easy, it's worth a try. And I would say works about 70% of the time. So we're pushing the, the ribbon cable all the way in as far as it will go, and then we push down on the black plastic tabs to lock it in. We're just putting the back panel back on. There we go. We're just going to add the Phillips head screws back in. Put this little side panel on. There's one marked R for right and one marked L for left. And they clip on and then also have one screw that holds them in position. On this oven we had um, three buttons that worked and I think it was ten that didn't work. Okay, we're going to push it back into position, get it plugged back in, and then give it a try. There we go. So that's a responsive touchpad.
So that did work. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.